Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Brandon, and I've got an exciting book to share with you today. How many of you like animals? What about animals that can do cool tricks, like a bird that can talk, or an elephant who knows circus tricks, or a gorilla who can paint and draw? Well, if you love animals, I really think you're going to like this book, The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. In this book, you do get to see animals doing amazing things, but you will also get to see the true meaning of friendship and how standing up for what you believe in will pay off in the end. I really enjoyed reading this book and I think you will too. Meet Ivan. He's a mighty silverback gorilla that's been at the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Arcade for 9,875 days. When he was younger, he was raised by humans and would do human things. But as he got bigger, he was kept at the mall in his domain. I know you want to know what a meeball is. Ivan is famous for them. Read to find out. Did I mention that Ivan loved to draw and paint? How many of you love art? Read this book to see how his love of art made him a true hero and helped save the day. Meet Stella and Ruby, two elephants that also live at the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Arcade. They become some of Ivan's best friends. Have you heard the saying that an elephant never forgets? Well, read this book to hear some of Ivan's favorite stories that Stella tells. How do you think animals feel in captivity? Do you think the animals in captivity feel alone? Read Ivan the One and Only by Katherine Applegate to discover the true meaning of friendship and how it's important to keep your promises, especially to good friends. You'll see how brave Ivan and his friends are I promise this book won't let you down. Did I mention that this book was based on a real gorilla? Ivan is a real silverback gorilla and he was raised in a mall with several other animals before being moved to Zoo Atlanta. He passed away at the age of 50 in 2012. You can even check him out on YouTube. Make sure you read this book to see how much of the book is true. 